All right, Shalom, breaking news. All right, this uh, first and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachach, with us double honors to the elders and the apostles that great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the 144,000, the hopeful elect. Shalom, Baraka Thumb, 650 foot tsunamis. All right, uh, this just came out, uh, well, it looks like yesterday, um, off of the it says 650 foot high mega tsunami in greenland sends seismic waves worldwide now this doesn't put the fear of the lord in you i don't know what will i don't know if uh, brothers can imagine in their their mind how high 650 feet is um but that's that's basically like a 65 story building all right a 65 story building that travels at hundreds of miles per hour man that, that that it doesn't really get much more humbling than that man if that that hits you um you're out of there all right <laughs> there's that's so much force and energy in something as simple as water all right and this is the judgment of the heavenly father and we said the lord said these things would start happening towards the latter end we would start seeing things going on in the earth along with earthquakes and uproars of the people and that's getting ready to happen after this debate and, and this presidential election all right all these things are going to coincide and they're going to get worse all right um there's not much in the article i mean it's just it's preliminary it's telling you uh and see here i don't really see much here in the article but they're just explaining a bunch of, you know, seismic scientific, you know, mumbo jumbo about when the last time we've seen this, this, this and that. But the headline is that mega tsunami. All right. Happened just like that, man. One one seismic shift in the earth and boom, millions of people are in the spirit world. All right. That should that should put some fear into you, man. This is Psalms chapter 32. All right, verse six. All right, for this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. All right, so the men that pray early, all right, we didn't got we ain't got to worry about these things. All right, now your spirit, your flesh, I mean, is gonna be nervous when you see a big tsunami coming. But ultimately, man, through the spirit, we don't really have to be worried. Why? Because we're in good case with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord is willing, our our sacrifice is accepted. All right. And when we seek the Lord early, you, you didn't have to tell us to do the right thing, you know, before the tsunami showed up. Now you're going to try to pray. And it says, surely in the floods of great waters, they shall not come nigh unto thee. Uh, they shall not come nigh unto him. All right. I read that in the NLT. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is yet. While there is yet. Salakia. Therefore, let all the godly pray unto you while there is still time that they may not drown in the flood waters of judgment. All right. So if you weren't with the most high, and this is just a reminder, the, the cutoff period, man. Look, if you're not with the most high, if you're not actively crying out against this place, you're out of there. OK. The Lord going to flood your ass, man. All right. In more ways than one. He's going to flood you with, with mischiefs, with plagues, all right, with pestilences. All right. In verse 7, thou art my hiding place. Thou, thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. And we're singing the song of deliverance early, right now, through faith, okay? Last precept. It's going to be real short. Isaiah 28. All right. Verse 2. Behold, the Lord hath a mighty and strong one, which hath a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of a as as a flood of mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hand. All right. And we know the Lord uses floods metaphorically speaking they can mean armies they can just mean judgment in general all right but you know the actual tsunamis are going to be part of that too man all right that's a that's a that's one of the worst 
natural disasters you can get hit with, man. Water, water destroys a lot of things, man. Even after it's gone, even after it's ripped through whole cities, man. You're going to have problems with mold, man. You're going to have water seeping in places where they really normally wouldn't be. People are going to be dying of mold infestations. People are going to drown. People are going to have their, 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 their whole land ruined. Some people are going to have a whole farm and the, and the, the tsunami is going to carry that shit away, man. The soil and everything. All right? And you can fathom how, many, how, how, how much energy, how much power is in a 650-foot wave. All right? And this is just one. All right? The Lord can spam them shits, man. The Lord can spam it like on Street Fighter. You got you got the Hadouken, all right? They call it the moving wave fist. And you know, you got a Jake, he he learns that move, he starts spamming it over and over and over again. And you're like, damn, I can't get close to this nigga, man. The Lord, the Lord can spam some tsunamis if he really wanted to, but the Lord is diverse in his judgment. And and every every man and woman and child has their, their own judgment, you know, cut out for them uniquely. All right. And that should put fear in you as well, man. All right. So, you know, Lord willing, this thing is over with soon, man. Soon. So I'll end it there. Uh, just some breaking news. Lord willing, this is edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rechak. Wadash Shalom. Kom Yashorala.